Okay. So, Claire, tell us about what's going on on our marsh. And you talked to us about bombs and landfill site. Can you, can you tell us about that again? Well, on this site here, uh, they're building a basketball training facility for the Olympics. Mm -hmm. um, but what they're building on is land which, uh, after the Second World War, was used um, as a place to dump rubble and hardcore after the, after the Blitz. Mm -hmm. um, and it hasn't been touched since then. So since then, it's grown into a nice green field, which everybody uses for leisure and pleasure. Um, but on digging it up, they've now found that there are... Uh, so last week, they found an unexploded bomb from the Second World War. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you look at the pile over there, you can see there are um, big piles of bricks and rubble. And w there's a group of us who feel that the necessary checks and safeguards are not in place to guard against any contamination. For instance, if there's wind is windy, yeah. the dust will blow from those exposed heaps. Yeah, um, that have been buried for, 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 yeah. for from ages. Exactly. And, and obviously, back in the day, there was a lot of toxic elements and heavy metals and Indeed. stuff yeah yeah possibly and um substances such as asbestos because it was the rubble from buildings that yeah. was dumped there so that's a concern the other concern to us is that uh when the building's put up which is going to be three stories high it's totally out of place here mm -hmm. it's much too big a price to pay just for the few weeks of the olympics and, and how, how long is this building supposed to be up for they have promised that it will come down in October at the end of the Olympics. But after that, um, the Lee Valley Regional Park, who own this land, mm -hmm would be able to extend the planning permission and a lifetime uh, of for, the for the use of this land to con you know to to be used for another leisure use mm -hmm. um which could be a hotel we, well under the rules it could be a hotel yes it could be a bigger ice rink mm -hmm. um there were talk there's talk about enlarging the ice rink so we feel it's a thin end of the wedge really to spoiling this field forever we feel we've lost this field forever yeah, and I, I you mean, can't afford to lose fields in London. London, you can't because this is the only open green space in in the entire borough, and yes. everybody comes to use this. They do, you know. Yeah, it, um, yeah. Well, no, no. When I say that, I mean it's one of the biggest pieces of open green land that extends from one end to yeah. But this is accessible to people who live in really very densely populated can, can parts I, can of, I, can, of London. Can I ask you one question in particular? Yeah. You said they had unexploded bombs that they'd found and stuff, yeah? They found one. They yeah. found one, yeah. Did they take it out? Yes, it was taken away. I, I read on the news that it was taken away to be disposed of. And, and we didn't... For, mm. From what I can see, we didn't have um, the bomb squad and the no. that whole setup that normally happens, which is evacuate the area, exactly. people move out of your homes, yeah, yeah in case the bomb goes off. Wait, and, uh, and potentially, if there's more down there, and this, you're building on top of this stuff and you're you're moving heavy equipment you could anything can happen we think there is a hazard there and, <coughs> and certainly from the point of view even of the workers who are there we don't know what checks and safeguards have been put in place to to re first of all survey the land mm -hmm. do an environmental impact assessment uh, to detect any metal um, and and the toxic elements as well yeah. so uh, the, nobody's been able to assure us that all that's been done uh, this morning I've been to see my local councillor over in Leighton I've put the same questions to him uh, for him and he's going to ask uh, about what checks have been done because this land actually is in Leighton in, in yeah. Warren Forest just this part um, so so their response they would be responsible for, for making sure that the contractors do those things I think um, but he didn't know uh, my local councillor didn't know whether that's been done okay so I'll be ch he's promised he'll get back to me who's your local councillor it's Councillor Massoud, Massoud in Leighton. Okay. In and yeah. you are? I'm Claire Weiss. Thank you very much. My pleasure.